What is going on, YouTube? This is Gavin21202, a.k.a. Gavin Orlandi. I'm sorry I did not get this out to you earlier. I just got home because I was downtown in Willoughby, Ohio, playing, yes, playing Pokemon Go. I do have no experience playing Pokemon, but Pokemon Go is very addicting. But anyways, I'm going to get straight into this. Because Brock Lesnar has been flagged by the USADA because of a potential anti-doping violation. The UFC released a statement Friday evening that Lesnar and the promotion had been notified by the USADA of a potential Lesnar anti-doping violation. The potential violation comes from the failure of a out-of-competition drug test on June 28th. The release said <clears throat> the UFC and the U.S. ADA received the testing results July 14th, five days after Lesnar defeated Mark Hunt at UFC 200 in his MMA return. The sample was tested at UCLA Olympic Analysis Laboratory, a WADA uh, accredited uh, a lab. The USADA, as it, its policy, did not release the name of the substance Lesnar tested positive for. The UFC's anti-doping partner will conduct a full, um, edu adjudication process before the, uh, sometime of his levied. The Nevada Athletic Commission, the NAC, also has a jurisdiction because of the last test approximately to UFC 200 in Las Vegas. Lesnar, the former UFC heavyweight champion and current WWE star, had not fought in the UFC since 2011. The UFC waived the four-month notice that the athlete is required to give out the coming of his retirement and be placed in the USADA drug testing pool. Because Lesnar had been uh, gone for so long, Lesnar who is 39 years old, was tested by the USADA eight times in the four weeks before UFC 200. In the media conference call, The Hunt Fight, Lesnar was asked about allegations of performance-enhancing drugs. This is what he said, and I quote, I'm a white boy, and I'm jacked. Deal with it, Lesnar said. The UFC 200 main event had to be scrapped three days before the event because John Jones tested positive for banned substances and an out-of-competition test. Daniel Comier fought Anderson Silva instead. Jones was also awaiting the USADA at... <coughs> education process so with that being said there is the latest news on Brock Lesnar's possible anti-doping violation process news so with the latest news coming in I will definitely be bringing it to you here exclusively on this channel but in order for me to do that you guys I need you guys to like this video favorite this video share this on every social media platform that's possible and definitely subscribe thanks guys love you all